Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting in front of my chickens, having my coffee with all of you. Uh, today, I'm going to pickle something. Not exactly sure what all is going to go into it, but I want it to be sweet, and I want it to be spicy, so I'll figure that out. Oh, and I got another Prezi in the mail, so I'm going to open that a little bit later. <sighs> well, let's get going on that weird pickling thing I want to do. I think I'm going to try making some kind of a relish. A sweet relish, yep, sweet and spicy relish with some jalapeno peppers, couple little banana peppers, couple weird shaped cucumbers, a green tomato, and some of those multicolor sweet bell peppers. So I guess first what I gotta do is chop all this up. Ta-da! I decided to forego the green tomato because I think I've got enough of the other ingredients to make a jar or two even. Uh, green bell peppers, yellow, banana peppers, cucumbers, and jalapeno peppers. So now for the brine type stuff. First, we're gonna add one full cup of sugar. Next, one half cup apple cider vinegar. Now we're gonna add some chili powder, one teaspoon. I used a heaping teaspoon. And then some turmeric, one half teaspoon of turmeric. Next, we're gonna add ginger, one half teaspoon of ginger. And this is actually a cowboy candy recipe. When I make this again, I am going to use all jalapeno peppers. So before I put it on the stove, I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it up real good, make sure it's mixed very well. Then over, I'd say a medium heat, you're gonna bring it to a boil. Look at that, yep. And then reduce the heat and let it simmer for about mm, five minutes or so. Look at that. It actually turned out to be about 10 minutes because you need to reduce it down to where it's kind of like a syrup. And this is just about right. It's about 10 minutes. Now, you just have to add all your peppers. Stir it up. Make sure all the pieces are coated. And then you're gonna wanna bring it back to just kind of like a, a very low boil. Kinda like that. And let it cook for about four minutes. Look at that. That's ready to go in the jar. I got a slotted spoon because I just want to put the veggies down in it first and then add the syrup later. And as it turned out, I, it only filled one jar. Next, add the rest of the syrup up to about right, hmm, a little more, to about right there. Mmm, look at that. I know it's going to taste good too because I tasted the syrup and it is delicious. So yeah, that just made one pint. So all I'm going to do is put the lid on one of my new ball lids and put it in the fridge and let it sit for about two weeks, preferably three. I'm not going to can it or anything. You can. You can put it in a water bath. Um, you have to adhere to the standards, you know, and uh, jar sterilization and using hot jars and putting them in the water bath and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it, keep it in the refrigerator because it's just one jar and it'll probably go pretty quickly. So I'm going to let it sit for at least two weeks. Um, they say that it's best after three weeks, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait that long. And they say it'll keep in the refrigerator if you keep the lid on and sealed properly for about three months. So I don't think it's going to last that long though. So I hope it, I hope it tastes good. I wanted to show you guys these passion fruit vines. These are the first ones that I transplanted and they've got all kinds of new growth. They've really bounced back and they're climbing up the fence. Over here, this is the one that was doing really super bad. Um, this one is starting to try and climb the fence. This one will reach over before too long and start climbing up here too. And then this one is just doing really, really well. So I think these are gonna take hold and spread. So that's wonderful. This is the second group that I planted and right now the sun is beating down on them so I'm gonna try and shade them a little bit here in a second. Um, but this one's coming back. In fact, they're all coming back and this one is starting to climb the fence. 
So these are gonna make it as well. This is just really hard part of the day and the sun is beating down on it so I need to protect it. But gosh, how is this lemon balm growing all over the place? It is literally everywhere. Yeah, I gotta get the real mower in here. There's some there, there's some there, there's some more there. Oh, there's some more over here. Oh, check this out, you guys. Okay, that's lemon balm. Look at this. It is a volunteer tomato plant. I don't know how it ended up over there. I have no idea how that is growing there. That is interesting. Well, I need more tomatoes, so who knows? Maybe, maybe this one will grow and be healthy. Look it. I got a package from Miss Francie. I think I know what it is because she already told me she was sending something. So you know what time it is. <laughs> Let's open this baby. Francie. Oh, I hope it is what I think it is. She makes things. She is a very crafty, handy woman. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. First, I'm going to show you the things that she made. And I love them. Her, the things she makes, these scrubbies. Now, I only have one left of the old batch. Um, I don't know what happened to them, if they got lost in the van or whatever, but I still have one and I use it to clean my cast iron with and it's absolutely wonderful. These are the best scrubbies I've ever used. So if you ever make a scrubby or you wanna make a scrubby and you wanna make really, really good ones, um, go to Francie's channel. Um, it's called Finding Joy. I'll leave a link in the description and um, go check out her channel. Mm, and these smell good too, but it's got all these little spiky things on it and um, the, the yarn that she uses is special. I don't know what it's called and You can put your fingers when you're scrubbing up underneath of these ridges So that you can really dig in into like in curves in cast iron skillets You can get into the curves really well. She sent me two of these I am going to make a separate video showing these in action because they are absolutely the best scrubbies ever and um, I think she's got an Etsy store too. Um, I think if you watch her channel, you'll you'll figure out you know how to find her on Etsy and stuff. If I can find a link to her Etsy store, then I'll put that link down there below as well. So thank you, Francie, for the scrubbies. And they're oh, I love the colors too. And she, I think this is crocheted. Another one of these. It is a washcloth, and these are great as well. They do scrub very well. Um, they're very absorbent and they're soft, and I love them. Thank you very much. So, okay, I'm gonna save this one last thing for later. Um, she gave me a card. She always has inspirational things to say to me. Let's see. You are so astounding. Oh my gosh, am I really? Dear Anne, I hope you are doing well today. I have been meaning to send this. Da, 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 da. I'm just gonna read this to myself oh oh my goodness thank you so much Francie that is wonderful okay um, this is there's another thing about Francie that she loves to do and that is she loves to go shelling she recently moved from um, kind of like up Tennessee I think towards Nashville area maybe I'm, I'm not sure um, to Florida for a teach teaching job and so she's not far from the beach so she goes shelling and when she was oh my gosh when she was looking for shells she found a bunch of broken um, oyster shells and all kinds of different shells and I said oh my gosh don't get rid of the oyster shells save them I'll crush them up and feed them to my chickens so look at this she sent me a bunch of shells it looks like I don't know if they're all oyster shells but there are some really beautiful ones in here. Look at this one, for instance. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. And this one, also gorgeous. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pound them with a hammer. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that today, but I'm gonna crush all these up into bite-sized pizzas. Uh, pizzas. <laughs> bite-sized pieces for the chickens. And it's a great source of grit for them. It's also a great source of calcium. So thank you so very much, Francie. Um, I hope you guys will go check out her channel. And um, 
she's very crafty and she's got some interesting things to say and she is one of the instrumental people in helping me get closer to God um, yeah yeah she was very instrumental in in the beginning stages of me um, taking the Heavenly Father back into my heart so thank you Francie um, I have found so much joy through you and your channel and your love and support and all of that kind of stuff so Thank you so very much. It's starting to heat up, so I'm going to go take myself a nice cold shower and get a cold beverage and just kind of chill out and wash my chickens until it cools off enough for me to actually do something else. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.